Alright oh guys, welcome back to another video and welcome to 2K22 baby! We are here on 2K22 uh, for the first time on the channel and we're starting something new here. We're doing a Toronto Raptors in-depth rebuild. Now you might remember on 2K21 I started the 10 year rebuild with the Knicks. Well it's going to be similar to that but it's going to be sort of a bit more in-depth. Um, instead of doing like in the past I've done the one-off rebuilds where I sort of do three years straight away well this one is going to be a bit more in-depth so this first episode uh, I'll probably call it episode number zero or something it's just like an intro um, to what we're going to be doing uh, for the series and what my plans are so I'm going to start off by going through the squad man obviously Pascal Siakam is our best overall player at the moment in 83 overall I think I want to move him by the series um, I don't know how long we'll be keeping Pascal around for, um, but for the moment he's safe, but I don't think he'll be here forever. Um, we got Fred Van Vliet, obviously. The, not dy the dynamic duo here is Pascal and Van Vliet. Same with Van Vliet. I think I might look to move him straight away um, if the right off is there. I've got a couple offers. I'll show you soon on my... Uh, target list, but I have got a couple offers that I think could be really good for this team. Uh, next up, we got OG on Anobi. OG is an interesting uh, person on this list. I think he's a real good player, genuinely, and he could be a good piece for the future of this team. But because of one of the other players we'll talk about later on, his spot on the team is a little bit lingering too. I think we'll keep him around though. Uh, we can play him at small forward or power forward, but I think OG is here to stay for now. Chris. Bouch, Boche, I believe is how it's pronounced. Um, I've, I've, as you can see, I've made him a centre. Um, he does play sort of power forward slash centre. I made him a centre, man. He's going to be starting centre for this year. I, I like, um, I like Chris. Chris is a nice player, man. Uh, I could see him being around on the team for a decent amount of time. He's got good inside defence and he can stretch the floor a bit, so it is valuable nowadays in the modern era of the NBA. Uh, Goran Dragic. Goran Dragic. I'm going to be honest, I don't really want him here long term, he's 35 years old, um, he's not making 19 mil this year, the thing is he's got 21 badges, so he could be really good uh, mentoring someone like Malachi Flynn, or even if we brought another young point guard potentially, uh, he could be a good mentor for that, but um, yeah, he's probably not going to make more than one year on this team. Uh, Gary Trent Jr., we got him locked up on a two year deal, looking to keep Gary around man. Uh, whether he, what role he's playing, whether he's starting or a backup 6th, man. I like Gary Manning, he can shoot the ball. Um, yeah, he shoots the ball well. He doesn't really defend. He's an average defender, which is not bad. But yeah, Gary he could be here to stay, man. Scotty Barnes. Scotty Barnes is the guy I was referencing before when I was talking about OG. Uh, Scotty Barnes is untouchable. He's probably the one player on this roster that is. And he's going to be starting from day one. Uh, the game's got him at a power forward. I'll probably see more value for him at a small forward, being 6'7". Uh, being a bigger small forward, I sort of see a good lot of value there for him. But he is definitely here to stay, man. He can, He's okay shooting. We'll try and get that better. Um, he defends. He play makes. He's got good athleticism, rebounds, all of that. He is a great well on a player. He is definitely untouchable. Ken Birch. Ken Birch will be back up for us this year. We got him on a three-year deal, so a three-year deal is interesting. I don't know. He's he's not a bad backup man. A minus inside D. You know he can defend for sure. Um, but yeah, maybe we look to move on from him in the future. Precious Achua. I'd, I think I might give. Would rather give Precious the backup minutes. I'd, actually, yeah, I'd rather give Precious the backup minutes than Ken Birch. Uh, he's younger and he's got a lot more. Um, he's got a much higher ceiling for us, uh, and he sort of suits the team better. The, the reason I picked the Raptors, guys, is because the Raptors are a rebuilding team. Well, the Raptors are sort of in a position where they're sort of they're sort of rebuilding, but they've still got these pieces like Pascal, Van Vliet, uh, they've got Dragic now. they sort of got these older players that are sort of not ready to rebuild, like Pascal and Van Vliet. Dragic, they're going to win you a few games, so I've sort of gone for this team, they could be a quick fix sort of team, make a couple of trades and go straight into competing, 
but I've opted to go for a rebuild mode. As you can see, I'm looking to get rid of Siakam, Soonish, Van Vliet almost right away. I'm going to probably try and trade him. Um, so I am going for a rebuilding option. So Precious definitely fits that timeline better than Ken Birch. Uh, he's seven years younger, almost the same overall. Um, yeah, I think pressure is going to be good for us. Inside D is B plus, not too bad. Uh, Ken Birch, actually pressures has more badges than him. Uh, who was Chris Bush here? Chris, Chris will probably mentor Precious. Um, but yeah, then you got like Shavi Makai, Luke, Yuta Watanabe, uh, Mal Malachi Flynn. I will mention Malachi Flynn. I want to get some backup minutes for my boy Malachi. Uh, I think he's a real strong player. He could be... He could be a backup point guard in the future for this team. Um, he will, he w will be the backup point guard for season one, um, but he could be further down the line as well when it comes to trying to win a championship. Could be a backup championship point guard. Uh, we want to develop him. And then the rest of the players, uh, I'm not too worried about. Isaac Bonga might send him to the G League. He's fun. He's six eight, small forward. He can play point guard. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much sums up the team uh, that we got at the moment. Uh, if we go into staff, obviously we've got Nick Nurse, our head coach, be looking to keep him around. Uh, the coaching in this game doesn't really matter, as you can see I'm on current gen, uh, so the staff's not that great. B plus trainer, we'll try and get an A trainer, so we get those training camps in the future. Alright, looking over here to the training block, so as I mentioned before, Scotty Barnes is our untouchable player, I am keeping him. Uh, no doubt about it, Scotty Barnes is here to stay. Uh, on the trading block, I did mention before Fred Van Vliet and Pascal Siakam. I am trying to move on from one of them. I actually might have changed my mind. I was thinking Van Vliet straight away. Maybe even both of them. I might package both of them together. But I will be getting rid of one of them from the beginning and target list here is the interesting thing now I have built a little list together of players we could go after uh, so let me just sort of talk you through who we got at the moment Darius Garland I got um, Sexton here with Darius Garland and Colin Sexton reason being with the Cavaliers man if we go over to the Cavaliers roster the Cavs are in an interesting position next season when it comes to guards Obviously they got Garland, they got Sexland, um, they also got like Okoro, uh, they got Rubio too. I thought they had, I could have sworn they had someone else at the guard position. But anyway, they sort of got two, they got two really little guards with Sexton and Garland both being 6-1. Um, so it is a little awkward for them. And in real, in, like in real life right now, six. Sexton is on last year of his deal and now are going to have to pay him obviously they're going to have to pay him mid to high 20 million dollars which the has been rumors that they don't want to do that and they're pursuing a trade so maybe Sexton could be an offer or maybe we go after Darius Garland a point guard I would be quite keen to go after Garland I wanted a young point guard to to bring into the team then they can also be mentored by Dragic um but maybe Garland's our guy. Maybe the Cavs decide to keep Sexton. They'd rather keep going with him, so they trade away Garland. I know I'd probably keep Garland in real life, but maybe that's what they do. I also got D'Angelo Russell here. D'Angelo Russell, there's been interesting talks from the Timberwolves, and I don't think they'd do it. But there has been talks that they could move on from D'Angelo Russell uh, in a Ben Simmons trade. or will get to Ben soon. But I, I don't think they would do it in real life, trading D'Angelo Russell, because D'Lo and Cat are such good mates. But there has been talks of it, so maybe that is something we could do. Maybe we could bring in D'Lo. You know, he sort of struggled. Ever since he left Brooklyn, he was an all-star in Brooklyn. He was amazing. Ever since he left Brooklyn, you know, it was, a bit, he was, it was a bit awkward for him. And the Warriors, he was sort of... He didn't really have a role in the Warriors. He knew he was going to be traded. He was just sort of going out there and playing while he waited for his next team. And then with the Timberwolves, he's been injured a lot. Uh, we can actually look at that. We can look at uh, games played. He hasn't played... He spent a lot of time injured, uh, sort of in and out of the lineup. Uh, games played, look at that, 42, 45. So since that 18 to 19 season, which would have been the Nets season. So yeah, since playing for the Nets, he hasn't really played a full season. Only really playing half season. So maybe bring him to Tor Toronto, build around him. He would be our future piece. All of these guys here on the target list would sort of be our future piece to put alongside Scotty Barnes. So maybe that is something we do. He is 25 years old, so still young. Lots of potential there of D'Lo Russell. Uh, next up we got Ben Simmons, 
Ben Simmons, as you know, is in the trade rumours because he has come out and said that he will not be playing for the 76ers next year. Um, if he doesn't get traded before training camps, he's not going to turn up to training camps. He's going to take the million dollar fine, whatever it is. He doesn't care. He doesn't want to play for the 76ers. So with that, perhaps that means we should go after him. Maybe there has been rumours of Pascal Siakam, Fred Van Vliet, uh, will maybe not that, but a potential Raptors trade for Ben, some of the loca some of the locations Ben's been rumoured to, uh, being the Raptors, the Trailblazers, the Timberwolves, d again, talking about that. So maybe Ben Simmons is a guy we go after. Could be pretty nice um, if we did that. Jamal Murray is my last guy here on the target list. Uh, as you can see, a popular theme here with guards. I want to get a guard back. So we've got Scotty Barnes at power forward for the future. we got Chris Boucher at centre. we sort of got... Um, uh, we got OG at the three, so I, so I want to get a guard back ideally, so that's what I've sort of gone for here. Jamal Murray, he's in an awkward situation at the moment, being injured in real life. I tried to get the Ross injury rosters on, um, but they're not. So if we did trade for Jamal Murray, I would put the injury on him, so we did miss him for half of the year. But he could be a guy where he was sort of the he was sort of the t second option in Denver. Next year, I'd say he'd be the third option behind Michael Porter Jr. Michael Porter Jr. is definitely going to be the second option, I would say, in the future. So maybe we bring him to Toronto, where he can be the first scoring option. He can lead his team, develop some more. He is 24 years of age, so he is a younger guy. Ben is 25, didn't talk about that. So we have gone for younger guards that we can sort of try and develop. So maybe there is an untapped potential with Jamal Murray. He's always been sort of quite inaccurate. Uh, not inaccurate, sorry. Uh, what's the word uh, I'm looking for here? Inconsistent is the word I'm looking. He's always been quite inconsistent in his play. So maybe Jamal Murray is the guy we go after. I would be pretty happy if that... I'd be pretty happy if all of those. I think the first one I'll go for is probably one of the Cavs players. I feel like that might be one my, my first move. But yeah... I think I'm pretty happy there. I might think I'm going to wrap this video up here. Just a quick one here just to let you know on the team. We'll look at the power rankings real quick. Uh, see where we are. We are actually 8th, um, which is so terribly wrong. What does 2K Sports have us at? They have us at 15th. Yeah, I wouldn't have us that high. But yeah, I think we're going to end the video here, guys. If you enjoyed, leave a like and subscribe. Plenty more to come, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.